everyone! Thanks for tuning in to watch my video. This painting actually goes hand in hand with something that I went through at work. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a journalist for my city's local newspaper, and one of the tasks associated with my job as a writer is finding ways of connecting with the community. And one of the ways that we do this is by occasionally go doing what's called a question of the week where I'll go out into the community and I'll find five people to agree to answer whatever the question of the week is. Um, one day, my question of the week outing was sort of instigated by a sudden power outage at my office. This wasn't your typical power flicker either. This, the, the power went completely out and my first reaction was just one of rising panic. I had just finished putting the finishing touches on a really long article that I had spent days working on. And of course, I hadn't saved. Naturally, there wasn't anything I could do about it while the power was out, but my initial reaction was certainly one of absolute dismay. <laughs> my second reaction was curiosity. It wasn't storming outside, it wasn't, there wasn't any kind of, like, sign of a transformer blowing or anything like that. And, you know, minutes went by and the power really didn't come back on like it normally does, where it flashes out for a few moments and comes surging back after ruining your day. Um, Seeing as I had nothing else to do, I wandered outside into the community to get a head start on that week's question of the week. Um, and, you know, as soon as I exited my office, everywhere down the block, you know, heads were poking out of their buildings, and it was pretty apparent that it wasn't just us who had lost power. Um, so this sparked a rather obvious prompt for the question of the week, which I decided should be, um, what do you like to do when the power goes out? Um... I got a lot of the answers that you might expect, you know, playing board games, working in the garden, reading a book, spending time with family. Um, everybody had an answer, you know, almost immediately at the ready. Uh, you know, after all, we live in Florida, which is like Hurricane Central. Um, we know what to do without power. Um, but it was one woman's answer that really stuck with me. She said that her and her husband really like to read. And often that consists of moving around the house. If the power goes out, um, they just go room to room to follow, you know, wherever the sunlight is. So she just laughed and said, I guess in a way we chase the light. We chase the light. And that felt so accidentally deep. And I contemplated that for a while and I realized that she was right. When the power goes out, we do chase the light. We These days we live with our lives in these little devices practically strapped to us. These devices hold literally all knowledge, all communication, and we become in a lot of ways prisoners to them. At any given moment, you're likely to be no more than three feet away from your phone, your TV, your laptop, your computer. We live our lives in the light that they give off. And yet, every single person I asked that day had a quick and definitive answer as to what they would like to do if that light went out. And I found that very telling, because laptops and tablets and phones, they all work when the power goes out. But not a single person said that in a power outage, they like to watch TikTok with their phone data, or they'll watch YouTube with their hotspot Wi-Fi. Instead, people, they chase things that they truly enjoy, the proverbial light in their life. They spend time with family, they take time out of their day to read, they spend time in their garden, but these are all things that they could do any time, except that the other light is always brighter. For me, the light comes from my art, my pets, my friends, my boyfriend, my family. And I am as guilty as everyone else in not chasing those lights, for the lights that seem more demanding, more urgent, always seem to get my attention. I guess I'd like to find ways of seeking those proverbial lights without being plunged into literal darkness without having to wait for a power outage. It was a really, really pretty day, the day that the power went out in my office. And if the power hadn't gone out, I never would have known. And that's a shame all its own.